Hello, my friends. Hope all you doing well and staying safe and healthy. My name is Ellen. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my Southern Kitchen, the 410th episode and the first episode of Ellen's Thanksgiving Series 2020. Today, I'm going to share with all of you the perfect breakfast for the fall season and for your Thanksgiving brunch. We're going to make cinnamon roll pancakes. And my friends, these are the bomb.com. They're going to be so delicious, simple and easy to make. And we're going to top it with a maple cream cheese glaze on. Mm -mm. Sure to make your mouth water. These pancakes are to die for. Everybody's going to go crazy over these. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my Thanksgiving recipes playlist, my pancake recipes playlist, and my previous video, Chocolate Orange Brownies. I'll post a link to all three of those down below in the description box. So grab your cream cheese, your cinnamon, and your flour sugar, because we're about to cook some cinnamon roll pancake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first step we're gonna do is make the cinnamon swirl. In my skillet, I got the fire over medium low heat. I add in a half a cup, which is one stick of unsalted butter. We're gonna melt it until it reaches a light golden brown. We're making the brown butter. And as soon as the butter melts, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, our butter is nice and brown. You can see the, the little specks. That's what you're looking for. All right, now it's time to add in the other ingredients. A half a cup of packed light brown sugar. Gonna whisk that in a little bit. Now we're gonna add in two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And continue whisking until it's well incorporated. Mmm, smells good. Love the smell of cinnamon. And you want to whisk constantly so that way the brown sugar and the cinnamon won't clump up. Alright, now we're going to add in a fourth of a cup of water. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Alright, last but not least, we're going to add in two tablespoons of evaporated milk. And whisk until it's well incorporated. And we're going to let this cook until it's thickened. Alright my friends, the cinnamon swirl is nice and thick. See? That looks great. So now we're going to cut the heat off and we're going to pour it into the bowl. Alright, so now we're going to let the cinnamon swirl cool completely and while that's cooling we can get started on our pancakes in my bowl I have one and a half cups of stuffed rice and flour and we're going to add in three tablespoons of white sugar and a half a teaspoon of baking soda just going to whisk everything together until it's well incorporated All right, so now we're gonna set the dry ingredients aside while we work on the wet ingredients. In my bowl, I have two extra large eggs at room temperature. And I'm just gonna whisk these together. Now we're gonna add in three tablespoons of unsalted butter that melted. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And one and a half cups of evaporated milk, my favorite ingredient. Give that another quick whisk. All right, now we're going to slowly add the dry into the wet. Go 
All right, last of the flower. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing everything together. So now we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. In my bowl, I have a fourth of a cup of warm pure maple syrup. And we're gonna add in three ounces of cream cheese softened. Just gonna whisk together until it's well incorporated. All right, my friends, our maple cream cheese glaze is complete. And our cinnamon soil is nice and cool. Now we're ready to cook our pancakes. I got my grill up nice and hot. You can also cook the pancakes on the stove. So now I'm gonna spray it with some butter flavor cooking spray, or you can use butter. So I'm gonna use my third of a cup measurement and spoon the batter right onto the hot griddle, like so. Now we're gonna take the cool cinnamon swirl, just swirl it on the middle, just like that. All right, my friends, it's time to flip the pancakes. Here we go. Gorgeous! Oh yeah, baby. So now we're gonna let the pancakes finish cooking on the other side. All right, my friends, I'm gonna show y'all the other side. Just like that. Oh yeah. Look just like a cinnamon roll. All right, so now I'm gonna finish cooking the rest of my pancakes and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through cooking my pancakes. I have three on my plate. Now it's time for the final step. Drizzle with the cream cheese glaze. And some chopped pecans. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And there you have it, my friends. Cinnamon roll pancakes. That looks mighty tasty. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm -mm. Look at that. The pancakes is light and fluffy. I love that crunch from the pecans. I love that cinnamon swirl and the maple cream cheese glaze. Reminds me of eating a cinnamon roll. These cinnamon roll pancakes are spot on delicious, my friends. If y'all love cinnamon rolls, y'all gonna love these pancakes. Please give this recipe a try. This deserves another bite. Yum o, cinnamon roll pancake licious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights on Instagram or send me an email. Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love. Stay safe. And happy Thanksgiving.